to begin with, I mean, it's not just the wireless radiation, but it's also other electromagnetic fields connected to all these equipments we talk about. And scientists have shown effects on the immune system, on the fertility, on the DNA molecule, which makes up our uh, genes, uh, on a lot of other areas, uh, blood-brain barrier leakage, Alzheimer's disease, and the electroencephalographic pattern of the brain, uh, learning, memory, and so forth. There are a number of issues right in focus. And of course, it's a very high radiation system we are talking about, the wireless society, and it does impact every part of your body. It does it wherever you live or work or stay or play, and it's 24 seven, and the exposure levels are just astronomical, you know, they're huge compared to natural background. And I have discussed that a lot throughout the years, and already in 1997, I pointed out that if we talk about recommendations and guidelines for exposure of the general public, the only hygienic safe exposure level is of course the natural background levels, meaning what you say, then we have to throw away all these gadgets. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's also an invitation to inventors and producers, manufacturers, industry to come up with what I have coined as tomorrow's green human friendly technology. Uh, anything can be improved and of course improved to a safe level. Uh, so that will be something for the industry to really bite down to. And therefore, it's very interesting to come to uh, the company here, Flow, and just talk about, is there a way to make these gadgets, if not safe, at least safer? And then, of course, only the future will tell us, was that enough or not? I'm here um, uh, to witness uh, a replication of an uh, experiment uh, where we are looking at effects on red blood cells using so-called uh, live analysis uh, with a special type of microscope. Uh, and uh, we have done uh, such two experiments uh, just to see uh, the outcome as well as how the best possible uh, experiment could be constructed. In Sweden is very hard to get economic support for that kind of studies. So someone has to come up with the economic resources needed. But I found today's uh, replication exercise is extremely interesting and uh, they should definitely follow all the ideas and instructions I gave them uh, and uh, try to come down to a completely double blind coded uh, and controlled setup and test whether their product actually works or not. So, and I would love to do independent research on that. I see a number of very interesting ideas emerging here and projects.